Hello, a Better Lived Life crew. I'm Christina, coach, combat vet, and community change agent. Today, I want to talk to you about my favorite meditation. My favorite is a combination of two types of meditation, a progressive muscle relaxation, and then a standard Vipassana breathing exercise. This works well with my ADHD because it gives me just a little bit of an active component while still feeling like a traditional meditation, what we think of when we think meditation. I want to walk through my favorite as an example of how you can adapt your meditation practice to suit your needs. And yes, it is a practice. Like working out, it isn't always easy, but the payoff is worth it. Before we begin, I want to let you know that as we move through the areas of our bodies, it is very normal for a muscle to not relax. If that happens, you can just try it again on the next out breath. If that still doesn't work, you can try tensing it on the in breath and then either holding it for five or just going straight to relaxing it on the next out breath. And if that still doesn't work, it's okay. It's normal. It's letting you know that you are carrying extra tension in your body in that place today. And that's okay. Even this awareness itself is beneficial. If you want to do some additional body work on that spot later, you can do it. Now I'm going to walk through the meditation and I hope that you will join me. So to begin, you sit. Relax, close your eyes if you feel safe, and just start with a few slow, relaxing breaths. Now, starting at the top, on the out breath, just allow your forehead to relax. And then the sides of your face. and the muscles around your nose and your mouth. Allow the tension in your neck release. Now with the shoulders, this is where a lot of people carry a lot of extra tension. So I'm gonna break it down into different sections. So first, just relax the top of your shoulders. And then specifically where your shoulders meet your arms. With each out breath, it should feel like you're sinking down a little bit, being grounded into whatever you're sitting on. Now the area around your spine. And then around your shoulder blades, round and under. Now from your shoulder down to your elbows. And then from your elbows down to your wrists. And then from the wrist all the way to the tips of the fingers. And then returning to center, relax your chest and the abdomen, sinking down further. And then the rest of your spine and the lower back. And then the hips and the butt. And then all the way down to your knees. And from your knees down to your ankles. And from your ankles all the way down to your tippy toes. And if any area felt stuck, you can return to it. Sometimes it can take a few 
passes. Sometimes I'll go from top to bottom twice. And next, we'll transition to a simple breathing exercise. Think in on the in-breath and out on the out-breath. As thoughts come up, notice them and then let them pass on the next out-breath, returning to in and out. Don't judge them. They're part of the practice. If we didn't have anything to let go of, there'd be no practice. This is how we learn to return to our thoughts. It's a focus exercise. And the thought is simply in and out. You can continue this exercise for as long as you want. And when you're ready, you just open your eyes. Personally, I'll typically do this for anywhere from about seven to 15 minutes. If two is all you think you can start with, that is perfectly fine. Just like lifting weights, we start where we are, and we grow, and we gain strength, and we gain the ability to do more. So there are a lot of benefits to meditation. A lot of people think, oh, it relaxes you. It's good for blood pressure. And those things are true, but especially with ADHD, it is literally an exercise to teach us how to return to our thoughts and maintain focus. And for a lot of us, that's a struggle. So just like lifting weights, we start small and we build. Some days there will be thoughts through the whole exercise, not a single moment of peace. And that is okay. It's a sign that we actually need meditation more that day. It's a way to help ourselves stay feeling grounded while we're spinning. Generally though, the longer we practice, the more we gain some ability to control our thoughts in the moment and improve. We feel more in control and physically better. The long-term payoffs for meditation are huge, especially for those of us with ADHD. I hope you found this video to be of benefit and I hope to see you again. Click on another video. Please share, like, subscribe so that other people who need this type of content can see it. Good luck. Now, go forth and do great things.